Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Watercat Gaming. It is so good to see you again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> welcome back to Fallout New Vegas with Watercat Gaming and thank you so much for joining me today. As you see, we're back at the strip and we are still with Arcade Ganon and Rex, but today we're going to be embarking on an interesting journey. Now, for wild card side bets, we need to learn more about the White Glove Society, and boy, is there a lot to learn about them. We do know that they are the fanciest and most stuck up of all of the places in New Vegas when it comes to casinos. But I mean, look at it, it's quite fancy. We're gonna delve inside today, talk to people, and see how this goes. Beg your pardon, but could I trouble you to turn over your weapons? Okay, we're going to use our sneak 50 to keep them hold out weapons. I'm actually not sure if I have any right now. Should have checked that. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. Please, enjoy your stay. Brim has a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. Yes, uh, I'm hoping it will anyway. So, uh, your name is Heck. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? I have not. Actually, I don't see white hats very often at all. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. So you're a rancher? Yep. Got a whole mess of Brahmins to my name. Bighorners, too. Used to just have the one ranch. But land was easy to grab before the soldiers moved in. Before I knew it, I was running one of the biggest ranching operations east of California. Now, everywhere I go, folks I never even met shake my hand and call me Mr. Gunderson. Don't quite know what to make of that. Ah, especially for somebody who shortens Hector to Heck. I mean, uh, but I'll call you Heck. So your bodyguard's allowed to have a gun. Why? Made me a special arrangement with the hotel. They want to do business with me, they got to play by my rules. A lot of people out there resent success. Might want to take a swipe at me. This makes them think twice. If I'd have been thinking, though, I'd have had him watching my boy instead. Then none of this would have happened. So you lost your son? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Club folks. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Gets that from his mother. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. All right, well, I can help you find your son if you'd like. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. So what business is it that you had with the hotel today? That's between me and the White Glove Society. But let's just say they control the food supply around here, and I got lots of food to give. But that ain't as welcome as you might think. Okay, heck, well, I'm gonna go talk to some more patrons of this fine casino and figure out about your son if I can. So I will talk to you later. Goodbye. I will update you as soon as I have anything. I'll be here. And we also have Arcade. And he wants to help the Wastes, he can definitely help me find him. Hello, Mortimer. How may I be of service, madam? To be 100% honest, uh, if you could hook me up with one of them hats, that would be definitely awesome service, but I see it's not an option. So, well, I would say, do you, do you need any work done? No, not from the likes of you, I'm afraid. I don't think you'd have the stomach for it. Better look elsewhere. The stomach for it? I assumed he was gonna insult stealth suit and how I'm dressed, but... I mean, I do a lot, man. There was an episode where I literally just gathered heads. Alright, well, what can you tell me about your snooty organization? My, such a popular question. 
I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course, but our pedigree was established over generations. Were we always so refined? <laughs> I'd be lying if I said yes. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. And now, here we are. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes and eat the finest foods, obviously. That's just the reality we live in. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. Which is why you have the steak guy here. Yes, yes. Alright, well I'm not getting much out of you, so goodbye. Indeed. I'll just look around myself then. I think this is the pool. I'm not gonna lie, I would like to splish and splash. Oh yeah. Sometimes it's just good to relax with everybody. Oh my god, that's adorable. I'm not allowed to drink the water. That's pretty funny. Now that we had such a great swim, we can go into the gourmand. And we need to talk to Marjorie here. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. I was looking for somebody who went missing. This again? I thought this was all settled. I answered every one of that investigator's questions to his satisfaction and gave all the help I could. I know our reputation hasn't always been spotless, but that's all in the past now. How some people can't get over it is beyond me. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume human flesh for any reason. It's written in the Charter. The White Glove Society may never have. The Gourmands did. I'm not going to get into this right now, but I would love to make a whole separate video on the history of the Gourmands. But that's not what this is about. This is about the fact that Heck Gunderson said he was here to talk business with you, and his son is gone. Actually, wait. Yeah, the investigator. You said investigator? Who is it you already talked to about this? There was an investigator who came through here last week. He'd been hired by a young man whose bride-to-be went missing during their stay here. Well, you can already guess what probably happened, can't you? It seems perfectly likely that she got cold feet and ran off. And that young groom just didn't have a clue, the poor dear. I'm investigating someone else, ma'am. A man? He just went missing. A man? Well, then this... Well, this can't be. Two disappearances in my hotel? What will people say? I'm going to have a word with my staff about security on the premises. Whether these people are found or not, our guests simply must feel safe in their own rooms. Is there any way that I could talk to this investigator that you talked to before? Why, yes, I think so. If he hasn't checked out yet, that is. I had our Mater D Mortimer offer him a complimentary room for as long as it took for him to be satisfied. You see, the White Glove Society remains the very picture of courtesy, even in the face of such impolite accusations. We have nothing to hide here. Okay. So the White Glove Society used to eat human flesh, you say? I don't think the White Glove Society itself did. They probably reformed themselves out of it and then became the White Glove Society, correct? Now, didn't I already tell you that we don't do that sort of thing? We do not engage in cannibalism here under any circumstances. Though we haven't always been the White Glove Society. There was another time, a dark time, when we went by a different name. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. Okay, to be fair, I feel really bad for her because I, I, I think she really isn't putting two and two together. And in this case, two and two is two people missing. We don't even have to worry about Heck Gunderson and the beef right now. I, I'll be back. Ta-ta. It's time to go talk to this investigator, guys. Hopefully, he'll give me some clues. Apparently, they want me to go ask Mortimer. You know, because Mortimer likes me so much already. Good day.
You can't fool me. I know that you're hiding something. How may I be of service, madam? So, Marjorie said that you have an investigator in here, and uh, I needed to talk to that investigator. Private investigator. Ah, yes, I remember the gentleman. This was about the missing bride. Such an awful thing. I do hope he finds her whereabouts. If I might pry, have you found something that will help his investigation? Well, I could lie, but I'm not sure that he'd like that either, since I know he's hiding something under that magical hat. Hopefully telling him I'm also on an investigation won't cause much of an issue. You are. Nothing so grim as his investigation, I hope. Ordinarily, we don't give out guest information, but I think given the circumstances, he'll want to speak with you. Let's see. He hasn't checked out yet. If you head back to the hotel rooms, his will be one floor directly above you after you exit the lobby. I hope we can put this whole matter to rest at last. All right. Thank you very much. Indeed. Things are getting strange. Are we being watched? I've heard that elite units are on the way to. You know, they could have made themselves a lot less suspicious if they had just kidnapped another girl. I'm not trying to be dark here. I'm just being honest. Because if you look at it, the Omertas have also been kidnapping women. But haha, -ha, Mort, you slipped up because you kidnapped a man. All right, well, this should be it. Definitely, that's, that's definitely it. Why didn't you just kidnap the investigator and not a whole other person? This okay. One looks pretty tough. Whoa. Oh yeah, dang it, dang it, dang it. Silly me, I did not go back to get a holdout weapon, but look at all the things that they consider a holdout weapon. A grenade? We're not gonna do that. Oh, he was just knocked out. Bad guys dealt with. Not anymore. We might need that loiter. Well, yep. A lot of, a lot of murder happened here. I do wonder why they considered that like, the wild wasteland symbol. I mean, they were supposed to come beat me up, right? Right? I never realized that the investigator was Crusoe, which is totally just a joke on the Pink Panther's Crusoe. 10 out of 10. But either way, he has a matchbook. And the matchbook has a little hollow tape in it. And he had some nice sunglasses, but we don't need those. Poor dude. I tried to make him look cozy, but it didn't work. The following is scrawled across the back of the matchbook. Steam room, 4 p.m. Looks like we're going back to the pool for another swim, guys. You know, I'm gonna keep that door open, let the guests know what's up. We need to see what time it is before we do this. So it's 10 p.m. We have uh, quite a while, but that's not a huge problem. Come on. We're gonna- we're gonna take a nice time in the sauna to relax. If I did this correctly, it should be four. Hopefully not too late into four, either. It does look like someone is approaching. I'm looking for someone who went missing. So was the man I'm supposed to be meeting here. Where is he? He's dead. Oh my goodness me. They must know he was talking to someone on the inside. They'll be watching everyone closer now. I knew this was a mistake. Who is it you're afraid of? Mortimer. If he realizes it was me the investigator was planning to meet, he'll have me killed. Well, we all knew Mortimer was suspicious as could be, so... Is he behind the disappearances? Yes. The White Glove Society strictly forbids eating humans. But we weren't always the White Glove Society. Mortimer and some of the others have regressed to the old ways. Oh. They've taken many people over the last few months. But always from Freeside or secluded places where they wouldn't be missed. It wasn't enough. Lately they've gone for tourists here on the Strip. Even in the hotel. 
I guess that's the hazard of a cannibal becoming a gourmet. It's hard to please a refined palate. Okay, well, what about Ted Gunderson? He's alive, as far as I know. Okay. We're trying to keep him fresh. Mortimer has special plans for him. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Um, I feel like that would actually be bad because I feel like some people would just feel terrible. But tell me, where are they keeping Ted? I don't know exactly. I wasn't in on it. I think some of them have stopped trusting me. But you can bet they're keeping him near the gourmand. Our chef, Philippe, has an obsession with fresh ingredients. It'd be back in the members-only section, so you'll have to be careful. Don't be seen, and more importantly, don't let them see Ted in the open. It's guarded both at the lobby entrance and in the access tunnels leading from the main restaurant. Okay. How do I get in? Or, just in general, is there anything that you can do to help me? I could sponsor you as an honorary member. The White Gloves are always looking for people who can elevate their status. You'd certainly fit the bill with everything you've done around here. Otherwise, you'll have to find some way to get inside quietly. It won't be easy, and it'll be harder still to get them out. Any suggestions on how to get him out, then? Hmm. Well, they'll all be sampling pre-war wines before the meal. Maybe it's as simple as drugging him. Although, that wouldn't stop any future kidnappings. You'd have to expose Mortimer, but he's going to confess anyway. What if... what if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks. And then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Okay. I really love that idea. We could also drug the wine. There are so many options here. Thank you, though, Chauncey. And please, please be careful. And you can sponsor me, but I'm terrified that they're just gonna eat you or something, too. Would they... Punish Mortimer for the deception? They might, but to him, the legacy of returning to the old ways is worth his own life. I don't think he expects it, though. I don't either. Nothing is more important to the society than being on the cutting edge of New Vegas cuisine. Mortimer's idea will appeal to that need. He just has to get them over the taboo. Okay. Ted's father is wealthy, too. With his resources, this really should be easy to stop, but should I maybe not mention it? I'm not entirely sure there. I really don't know. That may be true, but I wouldn't recommend it. He's built a reputation, and it isn't for calmness and impartiality. He's not what he looks like. They call him Hurricane Heck. The man built his empire by hiring mercenaries to drive off the competition. Lately, he's been attacking our Brahmin suppliers so he can take over their business. Oh. He's the sort to pound in a nail with a wrecking ball. If you give him the whole story on this, he'd be liable to raise the entire hotel. And God knows what he'd do to the rest of the strip. All right, that is... that's fair enough. Well, Chauncey, I think I know everything that I can at this point. Stay safe, okay? Let's plan on meeting again as soon as... Wait, did you hear something? <sighs> no sponsor for me, huh? Ready? Ready? Okay. Was that all? I mean, dang, Arcade, you okay? You, you, you okay, buddy? You okay? What's up? All right, your, I, your face was stuck. It's happened to Veronica also, but I was just a little concerned. What's your opinion on the current situation? It could be better. If we can find a way to work toward the independence of New Vegas, that would be ideal. But really... As long as you don't help out the Legion, anything's better than that. Okay, well don't worry. In a weird way, we are helping New Vegas right now. See you around. I will check in on you if your face gets stuck again. As I was saying, we have to consider how we're going to be doing this quest. There is a long line of ways to do this. We can find a sponsor to help us with the White Glove Society, which I do plan on doing through Marjorie. 
either way, they aren't going to probably like me being where I shouldn't be. So we have the options to drug the wine at the White Glove Society banquet. We can get rid of Felipe and cook for the banquet using his recipe for human flesh. I would like to do this. It might be easier for me to dress up as one of the members of the White Glove Society and get in there myself. The whole goal at the end, get Ted back to his father while he's still alive. Well, it says if he's still alive, but I don't want to bring a steak to his father. Okay, Marjorie, don't let me down. Welcome to the Ultralux. I do hope it exceeds your every expectation. Yes, yes, it's gorgeous. Okay. I want to join the White Glove Society. I was told that I would need a sponsor. Why, yes, of course. The White Glove Society is the most exclusive club in all of New Vegas. Perhaps the entire world. It's only natural that you'd need a sponsor from within the club who can vouch for your good name. Originally, we didn't allow anyone else in, you see. Founding members only. We thought exclusivity would make us the envy of everyone who's anyone. And it has. But then I had the idea to allow honorary members. Lower in status, naturally. But it just makes people want to be us even more. And the right people could certainly do wonders for our image. Celebrities, philanthropists. We want only the very best. And you most certainly fit the bill. Given your deeds on the strip alone, I can safely say that you would be a prized addition to our honorary ranks. You have my full support, and you are welcome to join us at our nightly banquets in our special section of the Gourmand. I hope to see you there. All right, thank you so much, Marjorie. And trust me, I'll be helping your organization more than you can even imagine. Ta-ta! Well, that worked out well, and we can go ahead and walk in here. Let's... Let's scope out the place. I've heard that elite units are on the way to support our I guess we could just go for it. We need to be very careful here. Just wait till they're busy blazing. Not the way, not the way, not the way. Detected. No one's mad though. Okay, hidden. Very good, very good. I would have much preferred if he was going in the other direction. This one looks pretty tough. <gasps> nope, it's not going well. As long as nobody else sees him go down. Cessation of hostilities complete. Be honest, I wanted this to go a lot more cleanly than it looks like it's going to. I think I have that key anyway, but let's go ahead and get into disguise in case. All right, we have some faction armor on. Love that about New Vegas. I'll miss you. It's gonna be okay, stealth suit. I'll miss you too. She'd help with the hiding, but okay, that's the elevator. So we've gone the wrong way, but hopefully it's a good direction. You know that no one will come in and see that dead body. So if I'm right. The wine should be nearby. In some room. I mean, everything's in some room, you know what I mean? But I think it's the first one that I will be running into. That one's inaccessible. Very fantastic for my situation. There we go. Okay, so we do have the wine. Let's go ahead and see if we can talk to Philippe, though. Nice kitchen, here we go. How do you fare? Okay, just to be fair, before we do this, in case I do have to drug the wine, I'm just gonna save. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. 
Okay, well the thing here is that I have to convince him and it's not giving me anything quite yet. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oh really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server? Your predisposition to anger suggest unresolved issues in your past. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. You may be projecting. Tell me more about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. Or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. Okay. I... I understand. Um... I hope you do okay. Uh, you go do that then. How could they treat me like that? No, I agree, Philippe. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're not gonna lose your job over this. Don't worry. I'm gonna save everybody. I'm gonna save your job too. Let's see if I can cook. Survival of 75 or higher required to improvise the meal using no recipe. Now an intelligence of 6 or higher and the recipe required. Okay, so let's see if we can find the recipe. This is a bummer. Is it on, Philippe? Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. He, I'm, I'm sure he's nearby. Let's go ask him. Bleep, bleep. I know you want to be alone. Bleep. Maybe, maybe there's a recipe around. If not, we can examine the wine, but then I just heard Philippe's, you know, mine for no reason. If I was a recipe, where would I be? I'd probably be on Philippe because he knows the recipe. Dang it. Oh, here he is. Okay, now I found him. Hey. Leave me alone. Haven't you done enough? Just doing all the bad stuff. Let's cook a non-human meal. Alright. Use the intercom to call the head waiter. How may I assist? It's time to serve the meal. At once. Now, I would like to stay hidden till he gets the meal. I don't want him being like, who are you? Because I am not Philippe. Maybe if I go hang out with Philippe in the closet. I'm just going to hang out with you and uh, keep an eye on the, uh, the non-human steak. I think we're good. Did he take it? Yes, yes, okay. So the food has been served. Very good, very good. Everything's going quite well for us. At this point, I believe I can look for Ted, who I think is in this freezer. Hey, Ted. My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you've done to me. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not one of them. I'm just wearing the outfit. I've come to get you out of here, actually. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. I would explain it to you, but the second one I'm afraid may infuriate you and I'd like to get you out of here alive. So there's really not time to explain. All right, fine. I'm right behind you. Let's get going. Preferably. Stealth mode. Can you do that? No, apparently he can't. Okay. Well, guys, we're gonna do the work for all of us here. We have to get him back. To the elevator, preferably. Seems like it'd be the easiest way. That is a stressful thing to come out of the elevator to. Okay, let's get to that members only section. It looks like Ted is super ready to smack people, but hopefully he can hold it in. I still have my white glove outfit on. Hopefully all will go well.
Okay. Let's go this way. Yes, I know, and it didn't seem to matter that that's how I was dressed. a return to the old ways that unified our people. Tonight, that all changes. The taboo ends. Let me finish, Marjorie. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime, one that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. Surely that you are all guilty warrants not only universal amnesty, but also a renewed discussion. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish, the meat we are forbidden to taste, the way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society, bon appetit. What the? Who is this trespasser? Bad news, Mortimer. No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. What are you? Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Who? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe. It isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. It's too late, Mortimer. You already said too much. And I know that you already ate a lady. Who'd you feed her to? You're all hypocrites. How can you claim to be connoisseurs yet deny yourselves the greatest of all meats? I am ashamed to have once called everyone here family. This isn't over, though. I'll begin anew. The White Glove Society will never achieve the greatness of my new order. You'll all hear from me again. I hope so for the storyline, but for no other reason, Mortimer. No other reason. Should I go kill him for the hat? Nah. Let's get Ted back to his dad. Hey, Mortimer. What are your plans now? Where do you think you're gonna go? Where does Mortimer go? I bet he goes where all the NPCs go. Thanks, Manny True Nerd. Now we know the answer to that. Oh my god. Ted! Are you alright? Quit your hollering. I'm fine. You got me my boy back. I got no words. Now, I hope you didn't do no harm to whoever's responsible for this. I want to skin their hides myself. You're welcome to. It was Mortimer, one of the white gloves. He had Ted taken, because he's a cannibal. Well, that does it. None of them maniacs will ever do business with Hag Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn blockade. Hit them where it hurts. In the beat. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. It's a goddamn monument to inhumanity. Let them starve. Biggest favor anyone's ever done this hellhole. Ah, but that's just what they'd want. You'd be driving the city back to eating each other. I don't like this place. <laughs> Whole strip, really. Ever since I got here, the stink of it has flooded my nostrils. But you got a point. They're already hell-bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. All right, idolized. The strip idolizes me now. Renowned for your extensive support and goodwill, you are idolized by the community. Well, thank you, community. I'm gonna go talk to Marjorie. You guys have a good time. Stay alive. Hello, Marjorie. Oh, oh my. How unfortunate. And in front of all these people, too. I know. He always was a bit of a pill, Mortimer. He was so pouty when I decided to ban eating people. And now this. I should have paid more attention to the warning signs. Can you imagine what people would have said? Why, it would have been a complete scandal if it weren't for you. 
Well, it doesn't look like I can say anything else of input, but I'm glad she's not going to lose her hotel to cannibals. So, goodbye. Ta-ta. Well, I'm glad we saved this trip from cannibalism, and I'll be sure to tell Yes Man that everything's fixed in this area. I mean, they're still snooty, but they're not eating people. And if that's, if that's what we have to choose from, that's what I'm going to choose. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you'll join me next time. If you haven't, go ahead and subscribe, and hit that like button if you had a good time. I'm gonna go do my thing, and you can go do yours. Alright, bye! Thank you for watching Watercat Gaming.